Gartner had a 2024 survey that said 60% of software buyers regretted their purchases within 12 to 18 months. But what are you supposed to do about it? Well, that same analysis showed that the regrets all boil down to just a few. One, that it didn't work well with the other software that they had. Two, that they could find a better alternative a little bit later on. And three, that it just costs too much. But all that to say, that doesn't even cover the elephant in the room. AI. Well, you're in luck. We put together a checklist for that. So to get started, the first thing you got to ask, does this have APIs? I'm actually shocked by the number of systems that don't have APIs or at least public access to those APIs. Number two, you're definitely going to want to make sure that those APIs have an OAuth framework set up for security. You would actually be surprised at how many enterprise applications are pretty janky when it comes to APIs, especially a little bit older ones. Okay, number three. Do they have a user-based OAuth system? That's really important for security purposes. We don't want just like one API key that does everything. And number four, you're gonna wanna make sure that those APIs include CRUD operations. So that's create, read, update, and delete. There's a lot of APIs out there that can do some of those things that are read-only. So you just really wanna be careful about what they do. And then the things that you have access to do all those things on is also really important. All right, so number five is gonna come in an API that allows you to access metadata. This is gonna be really important for AI, but metadata is just like the things, the configuration and setup that you have. You wanna have access to that through your APIs. Okay, number six, sandboxes or test environments. Those are really important, really, really helps your go-to-market engineering team. And a quick follow, number seven is gonna be the ability to deploy things using those test environments and that metadata API. All this comes together just to have like really good DevOps. So finally, I wanna address this like last topic. And, and this is really where all of this has been leading up to. And this is more a qualification for MCP or model context protocol. But this is what agents or AI agentified applications are built on. And so really now what you wanna see is like, hey, did that company build an MCP, MCP protocol? Did they put that in place? Either by themselves, which would be ideal, or number nine, like, do they have a non-authorized one? Did some third party build it for them? These are all really important questions. And the final one's on the checklist, right? So you wanna make sure you're very clear. It's like, can I build an MPC server for this service? But this is really what all of these things were leading to. So that's ultimately what we wanna do. So instead of having buyer's remorse, see if any of your applications can check these off or how far down the list they can get. And if they don't get that far, Look for a better alternative. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know which ones you like, which ones you don't, which ones passed our list, which ones didn't. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Till next time, have a good one.